Right, so in this video, we're going to solve a system of linear equations that's in three variables, okay? X, Y, and Z. All right, this system is going to be given to you in triangular form, okay? Notice we're in triangular form here. We've got three variables, uh, then two variables, and then one variable, okay? Um, and we want to solve that using what's called back substitution, okay? And I walk you through the steps of back substitution here, okay? So if we look at the system, again, now we've got three equations instead of two, like we had in the previous section, okay? If you'll notice the third equation, we already know the value of one of the variables, okay? The third equation tells us that z has a value of negative two, okay? If we look at the second equation, I can use substitution, okay? And I can substitute negative 2 in there for z, and that'll give me enough information to solve for y, okay? Once I have a value for y and once I have a value for z, then I've got enough information uh, to plug those values into the first equation, and that'll allow me to solve for x, okay? Once we get into the next section, we're going to have a system of three equations and three variables, and we're going to have to create this triangular form using some of the methods we've learned earlier, okay? But for now, this is the most basic system of three equations uh, in three variables, all right? So again, you'll notice here we know uh, from the third equation, z equals negative 2. So that's a third of my solution set here. I'm going to plug that value into the second equation, okay? I'm going to replace z with negative 2. And then I'm just going to solve that little simple equation that gives me y plus 6 equals 5. So therefore, y equals negative 1. Okay, so now I've got two-thirds of my solution. And then finally, I'm going to plug y. Uh, I'm going to replace y with negative 1. I'm going to replace z with negative 2. Okay, so I've got x plus 3 times negative 1 minus a negative 2 equals 0. Uh, do a little bit of math. x minus 3 plus 2 equals 0. And that gives me that x equals a positive 1. I get x minus 1 equals 0, so x equals positive 1, okay? Now, how do I write my solution? I'm going to put these, it's not as an ordered pair, it's kind of like an ordered trio here. And we want to go in alphabetical order, x, y, and z. So my solution then is going to be x is 1, y is negative 1, and z is negative 2, okay? Now, pause the video here. Look at number two, okay? You'll notice again that this is in triangular form. We've got enough information uh, to solve this third equation for z, and we can use back substitution to find y and x, okay? So pause the video here, give this one a try, and then come back and check your work. All right, so in this one, the third equation, we can't tell exactly what z is, but we've got enough information to solve for z, okay? We're just going to divide both sides by a quarter, or multiply both sides by 4, and we get z equals negative 12, okay? Using back substitution, I'm going to plug that into the second equation. So 2y minus a negative 12 equals negative 6. So 2y plus 12 equals negative 6. So 2y equals negative 18, and therefore y equals negative 9. Okay. Now, looking at this first equation, I don't have a y. I just solve for y, but I don't even need it. Okay. So I'm just going to use my value for z and plug it in right there. Okay. So I've got negative 5x minus 3 times negative 12 equals a negative 9. Okay. Simplify negative 5x plus 36 equals negative 9. Subtract 36 from both sides and divide by negative 5. Okay. So x equals 9. Again, we want to write our solution as a trio in ordered pair, uh, in, as an ordered trio, excuse me, uh, in alphabetical order. So my x value was 9, my y value was negative 9, and my z value was 12, excuse me, negative 12. So that's the solution of this system of three linear equations. Okay, So that's how you solve uh, a system in triangular form using back substitution.